Hello, we have a little bit of mail, you know, just, just, so let's open it. I already know this is going to be hectic. First of all, we have something here from Glowish. I love Glowish as a brand. It's like an offshoot of Huda Beauty. Let's see what's new. Ooh, color correctors maybe? Oh no. Micro mini eyeshadow palette and super jelly lip balm. I thought they were color correctors first looking at these two. That's exciting though. I love lip balms and lip oils and things like that at the moment. I've been wearing a lot of them, even just with lip pencils to create like, I don't know, really juicy lips. And of course they're good when you're not wearing any makeup at all as well. By the way, don't mind my hair. It is so due for a wash and I'm filming a first impression on this foundation. I don't know how to feel at this stage and my eyes watering from hay fever. Like there's just a lot happening. So let's just ignore the face and the hair. This male has been accumulating since my previous PR haul. I'll list my previous one down below if you wanna see it, but uh, yeah, this stuff's been here for a long time. So some of this stuff may not be so new, but some of it definitely is, and we've got some Christmas stuff too. These are the little mini eyeshadow palettes. They look so cute. These look perfect for travel or just like for the makeup bag because they don't take up a lot of room. This one is Clay Micro Mini Natural Eyeshadow Palette. The colors look really, really pretty as well. How cute is that? It's so compact. Like it's teeny. Here's what the Super Jelly Lip Balms look like. In this clear package. This one is in the shade Coconut. And it's like a nude kind of color. Does it actually have color? Let's have a look. Mmm. Oh my goodness. It smells like fruit burst or something. Like so good. Lip balms are always welcome in my household. Let's go in with one of the colorful ones and see if it's got like a tint. I feel like they react with the pH of your lips or something. Yeah. Coconut's clear. And then the others, like we've got goji berry, which is warm red orange, matcha, which is a subtle pink. And then we've got blueberry, which is a cool pinky purple color. So that is right up my alley. Let's have a look at the matcha one. I might have to use it on our lips. I'll um, try it in <laughs> first impression. My next video will probably be this foundation first impression. And then the video after that will be a full face trying stuff from this PR haul. So hopefully I remember. I want to try one of them on like bare lips. I've got lipstick on right now so I can't put it on. Oh yeah, it's starting to change the color of my hand a little bit, but I feel like it might work better on lips. And the other little mini eyeshadow palettes, we've got like a purpley kind of vibe one with neutrals and then like a khaki green. From Huda Beauty, we have some, okay, now we've got the color correctors. This makeup bag is so cool. This would be really good for me when I'm traveling for my brushes because it's like super long. So she's brought out some color correctors, which I've been into lately. And there's heaps of different colors for different skin tones. So I'll donate some of those darker shades and I'll probably like try one of the light ones because hello. <laughs> Do I really need to like point that out? Here's an overview of the color range if you want to like pause the screen. And some demos on here. So I think I will keep peach and pink pomelo. We'll donate the rest. They've sent some concealers too, but I've got so many of these. I really do like her concealers though. This is the luminous matte one. Next up, we have some new stuff from Benefit. And here it looks like some of their Christmas collection. So they always do really good little bundles for Christmas where you can get stuff cheaper. So good for yourself as well. If you just need top ups of certain products, you can get yourself a bargain, but also good for gifting. If you want to give someone you love some beauty gifts for Christmas. So this one is the Holiday Pore Score. It has a cleanser, a toner foam, and a professional primer. In this one, there is a little mini mascara and mini brow setter. I love both of those. And then this is Twinkle and Jingle Full Size Blush and Highlighter Palette. Okay, this sounds like a bit of me. I love when Benefit do their highlighter um, and blush palettes. The last ones I have are the Cheek Leader. Is that what they're called? And you guys know I raved about that palette for so long. I still own it because I love it to pieces. So let's have a look at this one because I'd say this will be a must have. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So inside you have three different powders and look, these two are like bait. So we've got Honey Bee Twinkle, Dandelion Twinkle, and then a Dandelion Blush in the middle. That is stunning. I'll swatch this. <gasps> yeah, that's so pretty. I'm like actually getting into highlighters again lately. It's really pretty. The lighting is not doing it justice. It's very cloudy outside, so, you know, we don't have a lot of reflection in here, but it's like super finely milled. It's got a little bit of glitter and it's very, very glowy. Not really like shiny. It's like glowy with a little bit of glitter. Really pretty. We have more benefit stuff. Is this the advent calendar? Ooh, 
all I want 24 days of benefit beauty gifts. This is how it looks. And the lid comes off the top and you have all of these little minis in here. Like in day two. Oh, cute. Is this a brush? It is. A little travel brush. I'm gonna open up number 18. In 18 we have a Titan toned pore refining AHA and PHA toning foam. I've actually got this already and I really want to try it because it sounds really good. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. If any of you guys have tried it, can you let me know what you think? Let's see what's in one of these tiny boxes. This is number seven. Oh my gosh, no way. Look, a mini hula. And the best part about these is you're still gonna like get so much wear out of them because how fast do you go through hula? Not fast, I can tell you that right now. I've got my same hula that I've had for like six years now and I still have not made a dent. I would say that's really good value. And it comes in this cute little like recyclable box. Perfect for travel as well. I wanna open up another little box because that was cute. This is number 16. It looks like a blush, I think. This is Willa. How good, oh my gosh, I love that. This is stuff I would actually use. You know some advent calendars, like beauty ones, they're just chucking all this random stuff or like minis that you wouldn't actually use. So this one, number 23 is a primer. I won't ruin all of the surprises, but from what I saw just then, especially the mini like blushes and bronzers and stuff, so cool. And I can see on the back here that there's also like little mascaras, more skincare, some brow things. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. Some tints as well, which is so on trend at the moment. Absolutely love. Okay, definitely go check out Benefit this year for Christmas gift ideas. Where are my scissors? Nakia Joy Cosmetics. I am very excited for this package. Nakia is such a sweetheart, but I will never forgive her for buying absinthe shots on my birthday. That was messed up. <laughs> No, it was such a fun time. So cute. In her little package she sent, first of all, she wrote me a little note. says, hi, she's so excited to hear what you think from Nikia. And this is her Brighter Days Brighter Makeup, the loose powder that I have raved about on my channel in the past, which was like a translucent. Now she's launched it in this really fun, very brightening pink color. And this makes you look flawless. It like removes your pores from your face. So I'll 100% be trying that out. I've been loving pink. So it's the perfect time to try that one. And she said, lollies. Thank you, Nakia. Okay, I should have a few packages here from Glamorator because I purchased a couple times and they also sent me some stuff. And I know I'm late because they had like this huge birthday sale and I'm the worst influencer in the world because I didn't open my mail till now. But I can still show you what they sent me because they often have some really good deals on their website. Let's see which package this is, if it's one that I purchased myself or if it's like one they sent me. Okay, it says, hi Shannon, we thought you might like to try the Mitchell Strawberry Cream Blush. Okay, yeah, I purchased this, but they added some goodies, which is so nice of them. So I'll show you what I got. And the reason I got these was because I've been wanting to try them for ages, but then they had like buy two, get one free or something like that. Was it buy three, get one free? I don't know, but it was a good deal. Okay. The bronze book in blush, so like the pressed blush, and then the bronze book as well. You guys remember the um, palette that Made by Mitchell did with Beauty Bay? I loved it so much. And these gave me those vibes. Let me show you. He's killing it with his brand. I follow them on TikTok. I love like just watching his updates. So. This is the bronzer book. It's got a whole lot of different shades. Obviously, I'm probably not gonna use every single shade, but you know, I like to switch up my bronzer all the time. Sometimes I go really dark. Sometimes I go really warm. Sometimes I don't, you know, so this is fun for me. This makes me excited. For some people, they're probably like, that's so boring, but no. If you're a bronzer junkie like me, like this is Christmas. How cool is that? So I picked that up and then at the blush or blush, <laughs> there goes the film. Look how cool. So we've got some cooler tones and some warm tones. Some of the warm ones look similar, but there's definitely a difference still. So it'll be interesting to see how different they look on the skin. But yeah, you can see some of them are really fun as well, like real bright, so I'm excited. There's like a mixture of matte and kind of shimmery ones too. Oh, the terracotta and this like bright orange is so cool. All right, and then the other two things I got were the cream cases, I think they're called, is that what they're called? Color case cosmetic paint palettes. So I got the electrics and the essentials. So this is the essentials, the packaging is sick. By the way, thinking of um, starting a compost heap too. I can't, I don't think you can compost. Can you compost? Nah, I don't think you can with like the UV and colors and stuff, but 
I get a lot of like just brown cardboard and I'm like, I could compost that and use it in my garden. All right, it comes packaged like this, how random. Okay, so that's how it looks on the inside. I've heard amazing things about this formula. So you could use this for contouring, concealing, foundation, you know, it's kind of like the Makeup Forever palettes, I'd say. So there's that one, and it comes with this like spatula brush situation. <laughs> I feel like I should do like a whole video about these rather than in the first impressions. Like I should do like doing my entire makeup, you know, with these products. This is the electric. Is it called electric? Yeah, the electric color case set. Ugh. It's low key hard to open that. It is a lot of packaging though for these I have to say and there was like another one I think from memory I can't remember what the color scheme is but this one's real cool it's got like some brights and some kind of pastelish tones and then obviously you can mix them together you can mix them with the white from the other palette I figured as well so I don't know looks fun let me know if you want like a video about them and then they sent me this with my order for free. <gasps> Ooh, strawberry cream. Danessa Myricks Beauty sent me something. I love this brand. I think from memory this went to my old address, but it finally came to the correct destination. <laughs> so in here we have this Dynamic Chrome Duo. So it's got this chrome flake confetti stuff. I've seen this on Instagram. I think it looks so cool. And then it's got the foil like liquid. You've seen me use like some Danessa Myers products, like, I don't know if it's the same, but like that before. Love. They're so cool. There's some like real bright ones. Like this orange one I just have in my mind that I've used in videos. It's so neon. And then I've also used some of the like shimmery ones as like highlight and stuff like that. This color looks amazing. It reminds me a lot of my Lit Glitter collab I've done recently. It is still for sale, by the way, on litcosmetics.com. Yeah, this color looks very similar to my Lit Cosmetics color, like purpley, pinky vibe. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Let me really get this in close for you. Look how stunning that color is. And then look at that. Pretty. But that's not all. We also got this palette right here. This is the Lightwork Volume. What's V? I don't know. I never learnt Roman numerals, like, ever. Like, I swear, all of my friends learnt Roman numerals at school. I was like, was I absent? Because I did not learn them. I'm certain of it. Anyway, I guess Roman numerals aren't that important, but I'm still kind of like, I feel real dumb every time I see, like, the I, V, I, X, blah, blah. I'm like, don't know. Anyways, it's an illuminating face palette. Ugh have to use this. I love like the more creative makeup coming out lately. Hopefully in the next coming year we see like a boom in colorful makeup again. I love the clean girl glowy natural makeup because it's just so effortless and pretty and I feel so good wearing it but also I'm ready for some color again. Toppers, bold shifters, grounding shimmers to reveal all the diverse stories of you. Press and play using a finger or brush to build soft or high intensity looks. So I'm assuming you can use these on your eyes and face. I am just gonna swatch one. This is brave. Whoa, full mermaid. It's like blue reflect in here. It just looks like lilac and white. Look at that though. That is cool. Let's do one more. Let's do loved. It looks green and pink. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. And these feel really creamy and just delicious oh my god it's even pretty swatch i swatched it on my leg <laughs> to like wipe it off my finger it's so pretty it's like peach as well huge fan of that i can tell you already that is so cool it's i haven't seen anything cool and unique like that in a little bit what's this p louise go shorty it's your birthday bad bitch energy sunshine squeeze juice 100% that bitch. So these are lip oils and lip conditioners. How funny is the packaging? This is a paper straw, by the way. Inside, looks like this. Juice, you and me. <laughs> That's so cute. The packaging always is just so extra. Look at that, hilarious. Stay shining lip oil. Oh my God. It smells like peach fruit burst or something once again or like mandarin maybe i don't know wait yeah maybe it's mandarin or orange <laughs> my sense of smell is uh interesting at the best of times i think this is so cool look you can like put it on your keychain i love that yeah this is like a just lip cream lip conditioner how cute is that that is, I love that. I absolutely love that. I want to put one on my keys. And they also sent over pink lemonade. And Legally In Love 
What is this? I never know because the packaging is so extra. Oh, they're blushes. I'm so excited. Woo! I think I've used one of her blushes before, but I've got some more colors to try. These are all like kind of cool pink, cool, cool tone pinks. Very pretty. This has definitely been like the year of pink, pink blushes, pink under eyes, and like the year of cream blush. You know, a few years ago it was like highlighter, just highlighters left, right, and center, and now, it's cream blush. This one has like all this danger stuff on it. <laughs> Maybe perfume. Dangerous goods. This was um, sent to my old address and I'm so happy right now because I have been considering purchasing this. So lucky I didn't. Now this is not new whatsoever, but it's the Kayali Pistachio, I believe. Yeah, Pistachio Gelato. So we're just gonna do a sniff test. Basically this brand has been my go-to for fragrances for the past like year. Been using um, the Burning Cherry, I think it's called, and the Juicy Apple one a lot. What a cute little bag. Bottle is so cute. It's not gonna go with the rest of the bottles though because it's like green and the rest are like all like red and pink and you know. Yeah. Help that went in my eye. <laughs> As if my eyes aren't watering enough, literally like my makeup's like come off underneath this eye because my eye is just like watering constantly. Mmm, that smells really good. I can't really like describe it. Loki, it smells like a body mist from like Impulse or something, <laughs> but like in a good way. Like very fruity, it smells like almost cucumber or something. What is that? I think it's cucumber. It smells fresh though. It's like sweet and fresh and light. Pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow and cotton candy. Yeah, I think I can smell like the marshmallow vibe. It's very, very unique in a good way, not in a bad way. I like the way it smells. This is usually the ordinary, so let's see. We hope you enjoy our multi-peptide lash and brow serum and multi-peptide eye serum. Let me know if you guys have tried either of these. The ordinary is a very like inexpensive brand with really good like ingredients. If you didn't know, I'm sure you know. Milani. It's gotten very dark outside. All right, in here we have the highly rated lash extension tubing mascara. Ooh, I love tubing mascara. I will 100% be trying that out. As well as a bunch of these liquid lip long wear lipsticks. They always have the nicest colors. I'm obsessed with the Milani like plumping lip glosses, so. That'd be fun to try. This one looks so pretty. It's called Glow Up. Nice color. I want to open this package. Glass house. Literally like all Hamish wants for Christmas. Why are you not focusing on my face? It's more of their holiday collection. On my Instagram, I did like a ad with them showing the advent calendar. It's unreal. It's so cool. So there's like a little brochure with all of the limited. The smell coming out of this box. Oh, it's got my name on it. The little things. Shannon, your Christmas just became extraordinary. This smell, I wish you could smell this. Oh, it's so heavy because the candles are like luxe. I reckon it's this one I can smell. I'm just gonna guess, okay. This one is called Christmas Morning Spiced Blood Orange and Pine. These make the best Christmas presents. <sighs> the packaging. Christmassy. Mmm. It smells like the blood orange is quite subtle. It smells way more like, yeah, pine and cinnamon. Ooh, I like that. We have the Night Before Christmas um, Dancing Sugar Plums. This was out last year too. Beautiful fragrance. Hamish's mum still has one that we gave her as well. I'm pretty sure, yeah, she loves it. because She's like such a Christmas person. And then finally, White Christmas Cedar Leaf and Fruity Clove Nut. I think this is the one I can smell when I open the box. Packaging is so cute. You can see the actual candle through like these clear panels. You see what I mean? Like, is that not the most amazing packaging? This is so heavy. I love this. It's like warm and cozy, but it's still fresh. I can't describe the smell. I guess it's the fruity vibe. It's like Mmm, I love it. That smells so incredible. I find a lot of the candles from Glass House that smell like real unique and like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe, but when you actually burn them, like the scent just goes to the next level. Do you know what I mean? It's the same with their home diffusers. You might smell one and be like, oh yeah, that's all right. But when you actually put it in the room and let it do its thing, I don't know what magic happens, but it's incredible. Like we've got diffusers all over our house. You walk like down a hallway or into the guest bedroom and it smells like heaven. They're just amazing. I love this brand so much. Like I will always, 
always buy their stuff. I'm so lucky that they also like work with me and send me PR because we've been buying from them for years and years. Like I've spent so much money on their stuff. We've got something from Kylie. Oh, I think it's her new colors of the um, blushes. I saw her little TikTok or something and they looked really pretty on her. Yeah, there's like a bunch of new colors. So I'm actually looking forward to trying these. Glow bums. The packaging is unreal for these. I love the packaging. Like it's so cute. Oh, this color looks amazing. This is way to glow. Look how pretty. These are so pretty on the lips as well. Like they're made for cheeks and lips. I'm really interested to see that come in cherry or comes in cherry shade like look how cool it's like a deep wine color i know there's another trend now on like tiktok and stuff of like wine makeup so maybe i should do it and use this we have more from the ordinary man i really should have washed my hair it's so greasy my hair just like never sits nicely like if it's not like freshly washed it just i don't know it just bothers me and here we have the Glyco Lipid Cream Cleanser. What is that? I haven't never heard of that. This launched back in May. I think this must have gone to my old address as well. Yeah, it did. It went to my old address. <laughs> I only got some of this mail recently. Also a moisturizer. Let me know if you guys have tried these. Should I try them? Sunday Riley. I love this brand so much. You guys already know. Let's have a look inside. How fun is the packaging? Looks like some Christmas things little kit so we've got the nice work and the double your glow double your glow has two of my favorites the ceo it's really bright again ceo vitamin c brightening serum and the good genes all in one lactic acid this in particular holy grail i've gone through probably 10 of them i've literally bought it so many times and i'm lucky enough to receive it sometimes in pr but i buy it and I bought it before I got in PR too. So this one is the Nice Work. And it has this Be Nice Niacinamide Serum. Interesting. Reduce the look of pore size, surface redness, and blotchy tones. That sounds like a bit of me. The Sleeping Night Oil, which I love that. I've been using that. And it says how to like use them all too in a routine. Then the Good Jeans. And then the Autocorrect Brightening and Depuffing Eye Contour Cream. Amazing. If you're looking to try a new skincare brand, Sunday Riley is 100% one of my favorites like their stuff is such good quality and so luxe like i love their moisturizer too the vitamin c like the one that's like this but the moisturizer it's so rich and creamy and you just wake up with the most amazing plump skin i actually just ran out of it but i've been trying something new um i've been trying the one in my last pr haul the trixie is it trixie came in like a pink bottle thing it's so good as well like i've been loving it hello Oh, I heard stuff happening upstairs and I was like, is there someone in the house? It was freaking me out. I don't know. I haven't been up there. All right, Hamish called me and I had to go upstairs and I figured I'd just eat quickly too. Because it's like 1.30. Do I have any food in my teeth? I think we're good. Let's continue. I have not even made a dent. Depending how long this video is, I may have to split it into two. But, oh, if I do... I will upload both parts within like the same week so you're not waiting along just so it gives me a chance to like edit it you know oh chemist warehouse has launched this brand by the looks of it harder labo harder labo harder labo harder labo harder labo i don't know how to pronounce it they bring a new powerful formula to the new zealand market with their iconic super hyaluronic acid oh i'm so gonna try this so it's japanese skincare we've got a Super hyaluronic acid, fragrance free, gentle hydrating cleanser all in one. This like sheet mask. We've got a super hydrated lotion. By the way, the lip balm definitely like tints. I was looking at it while I was eating. I was like, okay, yeah, that did work. Oh, it's clear. Oh, that's right. And um, a lot of Asian brands, lotion is like a liquid. It's not like... What you'd think lotion moisturizer making my skin glow i don't know if you can see the difference concentrated water serum lock-in moist i mean i don't know there's like these creams and gels as well i am 100 percent trying that maybe even like after summer i feel like it would be real good in like autumn winter when my skin's even drier <laughs> more glass house don't mind if i do got my name on it again oh, yes sunsets in capri this is one of my favorite scents this is the perfume body lotion and candle packaging is just to die for i love christmas like i'm so excited oh this is so pretty that's how it looks 
so good body bar trio with it's a heart fair midnight milan and lost in amalfi such good choices i love all of them especially taha you guys know me it's like caramel delicious and then last but not least this like christmas decoration thing it's a little mini taha affair candle which is like one of my favorites i won't open it because i've already got one from my advent calendar so i might gift this to somebody who's this from natasha denona yeah i think this is gonna have to be in two parts there's just too much i mean i feel like i could rush more but i'm kind of enjoying myself just like having a good old geese xenon palette i haven't even heard of this what is this huge natasha denona fan you guys know oh i can see the little um flyer looks interesting okay let's have a look Oh, that's really unique. I don't know how much wear I would get out of this, but like for Christmas vibes, it's so pretty. There's a couple of colors in here I know I would love, like this duochrome pink and some of the shimmers, like even this really cool taupe color. I'm gonna swatch the taupe. Skift. Yeah, so pretty. Can you see that? And I'll swatch the duochrome snowbow. Very good for Christmas, but the only reason I'm not like, oh my God, is because like, how wearable would it be? Like, how often would I reach for it? Do you know what I mean? Like, I'd have to be going for a very certain look with this palette. It's not just something that I'd be drawn to to use over and over and over again. I guess, though, if you love wearing, like, blacks and silvers and colors like that, then obviously you would get way more wear out of it. But for me, those are, like, the colors I wear probably the least. I don't know. Maybe it could push me outside of my comfort zone, though, because the formula to Natasha Denona eyeshadows are awesome. Let me know what you guys think. Should I give it a go? Or not? Nah? Another brand I love, Dermalogica. Hi, Shannon. Oh, sunscreen. Hell yeah. I love a bit of sunscreen. I'm actually using that one that I used in a full face first impressions recently that I bought. Um, what even is the brand? I can't remember. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, and I'm loving it. It does not sting my eyes. Like, it's a game changer. But Dermalogica also do some of my favorite sunscreens. I actually have the Prisma Protect upstairs, one of my favorites from Dermalogica. It's so good. This is a new one, it's called Pore Screen. It's got niacinamide, which is like the it product of the moment apparently. Blurring with a hint of tint, mineral sunscreen, SPF 40, UVA, UVB. Helps reduce the appearance of pores, hydrate your skin. It's got heaps of other amazing ingredients as per normal with Dermalogica. I love this brand. But that's not all. There's also this one, Protection 50 Sport broad spectrum high protection with SPF 50 and 80 minutes water resistant. I'm gonna have to take this um, with me up on holiday when we go to the beach. I finally got Hamish on board with like sun protection as well, finally. This is a lightweight formula and it does not have a greasy after feel. I think Hamish will love this. And then there's also this, what is this? What, what is this? What, what are this? <laughs> Sunglasses? Got the cloth stuck in them. <laughs> Miss Miranda sent me some stuff from her brand, Cora Organics. Wishing you and yours a healthy and joyous holiday season. I hope you enjoy these goodies to indulge your skin and senses in certified organic nourishment for a calming and grounding escape during the busy time of year. So in here we have their Nourish and Glow Trio. I've never tried this brand before, but I've heard a lot about it. There is a Milky Mushroom Gentle Cleansing Oil. Looks like very luxurious packaging. This is heavy too. Turmeric brightening and exfoliating mask. Sounds so good. I love turmeric as an ingredient. And a Noni Glow Face Oil. They seem quite unique, like with the vibe of the ingredients. Mushroom, turmeric, like real cool. And they also sent over this amazing little bag. This feels so soft. Once again, this would be so good for makeup brushes because it's actually like quite long. And look inside, stunning. More Glam Raider. Let's see if this is what I bought or if this is their <laughs> stuff from their birthday, which I'm way too, way too late. I'm sorry. Glam Raider also stock XO Beauty. So if you love shopping Glam Raider like me, check out my little brand too. Support them, support me. What's in here? Okay, we've got this. Harla Cosmetics Loose Eyeshadow. Oh, I think they were wearing this. Shooting Star. I remember there was a TikTok. I was like, what eyeshadow is that? Maybe it's this? Know. Either way, it's a loose eyeshadow and it looks really pretty. We have two boxes, two huge boxes. I am so sorry. We're celebrating our eighth birthday. They had 20% off site wide until the 12th of November. And to be fair, I'm only like 11 days too late while I'm filming this. I'm terrible. But these are some of their best sellers. So either way, go check them out if you see anything you like. They've got the coolest range of brands. Like a lot of like indie brands and like brands that are hard to get 
for like New Zealanders and Australians. So oh my God, is this like a cookie? Do you reckon I can still eat this or would it be way too old? <laughs> we have the original Super Hold Brow Glue. This is the Bubble Gum Flavor by Pink Honey. I do love the Pink Honey um, brow gels. I actually used one of them today, the tinted brown one. They're powder puffs. Peaches and Cream PCO2 brush. Must be one of their best sellers. It's like a very short, densely packed like foundation buffer brush. Curve case in light. This is like a cream, like blush and bronzer kind of vibe case. Wait, did I buy one of these? I feel like maybe there's another package in here where I bought this. Time will tell. I guess I'll be giving one away if I did. P. Louise Base Eyeshadow Base in Ruma O2. Always a good one. Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm with Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramides and Peptides. I love e.l.f. e.l.f. is such a good brand. I've been ripping e.l.f. since the beginning of my channel nearly. Remember when you used to be able to get a couple of e.l.f. e.l.f. things? That's a tongue twister. From, um, was it like Diva? You know the jewelry, jewelry shop? Jewelry store? Diva? I think it was called Diva from memory. Anyway, throwback. I remember going to Wellington and shopping up large. Anyway, Power Grip Primer and the Peaches and Cream Lip Pencils, which you've seen me use quite a few times on my channel. They're really, really, really pretty colors. I do like these. But wait, there's more. Hi Shannon, we thought you'd love to try some of our favorite Peaches and Cream products. Heck yeah, I would. I don't know why, but I love this packaging in general. One of my favorite moisturizers is in a packaging like this. It's like the tube, but it's like metal. You know, those ones where you can like bend them and they like stay put. I love that. But these are cream color. They just like cheeks, lips. It doesn't say, I guess you just use it wherever you want. So there is a coral one and a rose one. This pigment drop solution, which you could mix with pigments, obviously, which they sent a couple. This packaging is so cute. Look at this. Like I die. Let's have a look. That's definitely some kind of like duochrome. And I drank too much coffee today. My heart's like thumping. Ooh, that's like a really pretty shimmery, like taupey kind of color. Do you guys remember satin taupe eyeshadow? I was thinking about that today. The good old days. <laughs> Nipped in the bud. What is this? Pink lip liner set. Oh cool, cause I've only got the nude ones. So there's some like pinky tones, which are very, very wearable pinks by the looks of them. Oh my gosh. I also want to film a ASMR makeup tutorial where I just like, very satisfying. I don't know. My brain just wants to do it. Do I do it? I did an ASMR um, like tutorial skincare video years ago and I thought it was so cringe when I was doing it but it ended up like going really well and everyone was like do more and I never did because I just felt really weird about it. Um, but I don't know. Something lately in me is like I kind of want to do like ASMR. All right this is I have no idea. What is this? Cole eyeliner, I think. Oh wow, it's like a whole set of eyeliners. Cool. I'll definitely try those. And some lip gloss. So thank you, Glam Raider. I'm so sorry I missed your birthday. I'm the worst. ta -da! So they brought out kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury vibes, like the blush tape, the glow tape. I'm excited to try these though, because I love these kinds of products. And I've been loving the, what's the brand? Emco Beauty ones. Oh so good and then I also have makeup revolution ones which I love but the Emco ones are like so sick they're so cool man eater oh it's like a blush jumbo stick this shade is berry and a maracuja maracuja cool maracuja juicy shift it must be color changing it smells good don't know what that is, like fruity. I'll try it out on my lips at some stage because maybe it changes color as well. I feel like that's like a theme lately. <laughs> Here we go, pH power to shift your perfect shade of pink, available in seven shades. So there you go, I was right. That one goes on like a really nice peachy color as it is. L'Oreal. <laughs> Already dug in here when I did my first impression of the Maybelline skin tint stuff. You know how I did a first impression on it? I'll link it below. I dug in here to grab that out because I wanted to do a first impression. I knew they were sending it. They sent me heaps and heaps and heaps of stuff. Shannon, thank you so much for your ongoing support and love to Maybelline. We hope you enjoy these goodies and have a gorgeous time trying so many new products too. So nice. Yeah, I love Maybelline. So it's like, I guess L'Oreal sent it, but it's from Maybelline. I don't think there's L'Oreal stuff in here. Anyways. I'll just skim over some of the stuff. They sent me a bunch because I just love trying um, new Maybelline. Like Maybelline's one of those brands I've been using since 
being a teenager like well before youtube of course and i feel like they always have like sorry i have to like adjust my legs i'm getting too old to like oh sit on the ground like this i just feel like they always have really exciting releases they always have beautiful colors like it's a brand i've always used on my channel you know since years ago and i've always had like favorites like whether it be mascaras or like the highlighters and their bronzers and stuff i've been using the bronzers lately Anyways, the mascaras are always a fave, so I actually already know I love this, so it's cool to have another one. I'm just gonna grab out random things, okay? Lifter gloss, like one's shimmery and one's like a cream kind of finish. So pretty, I love the packaging. More as well, there's so many different colors. I love the look of this one, Petal. It's like got a little bit of like a gold kind of shimmer through it. They must have sent me like all of them. Pretty, oh my gosh, this one, shade Reef. Honestly, when I first read that, I thought it said beef. <laughs> These vinyl Superstay inks, liquid lipsticks. They sent like a bunch. Oh my gosh, there's more of these. Literally so many. Are we too bright again, are we? Good. Oh, I always go the wrong way. Oh my God, yes. I've been dying to try this. This is the 4-in-1 Glow Primer and Concealer and Highlighter and BB Cream. It's like 4-in-1. Um, I'm assuming it's got like a little bit of coverage. It's like a highlighting product, kind of like the um, Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter vibe it's got the sponge applicator which is different so they sent me the what shades this medium and light there's a big color difference between medium medium <laughs> medium and light but we'll try it instant anti-age perfecter four-in-one whipped matte makeup kind of intrigued i bought this mascara already <laughs> But there's another one. And I actually really like these. I've used these before. These, what are they called? They're like a crayon, like a lip crayon. Ink crayon is the technical name. Superstay. They come in so many colors. More colors. Um, we've got brow lift stick. This looked real interesting. I don't know if you can see, but like, I mean, look at that. Like, look how thick that is. I'm so intrigued. I really wanted to try that. Whoa, this lip gloss is like a for like full-on bronze color Cut out of it it almost looks like a liquid eyeshadow hyper sharp extreme liner i've always really liked maybelline eyeliners brown liquid liner i had to and then they also sent no no that's more lip gloss thank you maybelline and here we have something from taylor skincare i remember using taylor skincare years ago it is really nice in here what is this is this a pillowcase oh nice it's like a silk pillowcase which is really nice for your skin in here and this is the restore nurturing night balm it's got melatonin what and skincare and red seaweed 99% natural luxuriously rich overnight balm to brighten to nourish moisturize repair and firm new zealand made natural ingredients cruelty free vegan recyclable that sounds amazing i'll definitely be trying that i'm so intrigued the packaging is stunning very like luxurious like weighty as well how exciting oh my gosh i've got so much good new skincare and i'm really excited because i've been like going through moisturizers <laughs> pretty quick i don't know what it is i think because i've started like adding it to like this area of my chest my neck and my face whereas i used to just do like my face and a bit of my neck i'm quite thorough now because hello i'm 31 now so cool like even the box that it comes in is compostable it's got vegetable ink there's like recyclable packaging like the thought of everything licorice root to brighten reduce hyperpigmentation and restore sun damage sounds really good I'm trying to figure out when to like pause so we can go to part two but i think we'll keep going a little bit more because um whoop. holy crap there's so much stuff here we go more glamorator is this what i purchased myself let's see yep yeah, it is i knew it the light curve case so maybe when i try that um i will do a little giveaway in the video for someone to receive this obviously it is in shade light which i'm sorry but there's no point keeping both so i may as well hope that someone enters that can use it you know i'm not trying to exclude anyone i promise this box here is from anastasia beverly hills Ooh. this was launched a little while ago i believe so inside it looks like this we've got the cosmos palette and some lip gloss stoked i actually think i decluttered all of my anastasia beverly hills lip glosses as much as i love them because you know they were from like 2000 what 2016 probably or somewhere like around that um date range so they were well expired and then the cosmos palette the packaging first of all let's look so cute and these are the colors i love the colors i actually think this is such a beautiful palette i love i just almost always love abh palettes their color stories are beautiful like almost 
every single time like I just I love them and the quality is really good yeah those colors are beautiful we'll absolutely be trying that out my eye is crying Okay, I feel like I'm gonna do like five more unboxings on this video and then we're gonna switch to part two. I've left this way too long. I've just been vibing, just been filming like all my other videos, just vibing away and neglecting doing a PR haul for whatever reason. And it's just, um, it's gotten too big. Of course, it would not be a PR haul without Colourpop. So this is their holiday kits. There's 10 different eye, lip, and body holiday kits, which have iconic favorites and all new shades, and they are available at Target and Colourpop. If you shop on Colourpop, I do have a discount code. It's down below, I think it's Shannon 10, but yeah, it's, it's in my down bar. We have this real cute glitter duo, which would be perfect for festy season. Hugs and Kisses Lippy Sticks Trio. We've got some, whoops, some lip pencil, trios very pretty colors yeah some of their like best sellers like bff2 more lippy sticks cute look at these holiday kits so you get an eyeshadow and then you get gel cream liner in there too oh my gosh that one is so pretty i love the colors it reminds me of like a natasha denona eyeshadow palette so that was sweater weather we've got jolly vibes which is like cool tone vibes very pretty too and then we have, similar to the new Natasha Denona palette that I showed earlier, the Naughty List, which if you love that vibe, there you go. There's one for a budget, because Natasha Denona is very expensive. That's not it though. We've also got some of their Super Shock shadows and some fun colours for Christmas time. Colourpop <laughs> times Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Say what? So obviously this is for their Christmas collection cute packaging how like random is this oh it's a really nice christmas collection look at that it's really nice wearable red tone like maroony eyeshadows and like a couple of green i wasn't really gonna do any christmas looks this year because i've done so many over the past years but let me know if i should i don't know i just feel like i've done it a million times I'm like running out of ideas like what more could i do for christmas maybe i just film like a get ready with me instead i don't know i think you're cute duo little cute little nude lipstick duo oh there's snowflakes on the lipstick you see <laughs> these hair clips are everything i want to wear those and then there's like a red like burgundy red kind of duo we've got some beautiful luxe lip gloss are they lip gloss or oils yeah lip gloss the colors are so pretty and then there's also this little christmas decoration duo wait no, nope, they're separate. They were just connected. Lip scrub and lip mask. This was also sent to my old address. So goodness knows how old this is. Oh, it's the mini um, palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah, I have been looking forward to these. And also the Glow Seeker Highlighter in Sun Idol. I heard people comparing it to like the Amrezy highlighter, but it's still different. But the Amrezy highlighter by ABH is like iconic. The packaging is out of it. Look at that. Oh yeah, that looks stunning. Let's swatch it. Whoa. Yeah, I love that color. It's the perfect like golden champagne kind of vibe. I feel like I'll love this. We'll try it though on the face. And then this is such a good idea, like from a business perspective to relaunch the um, like two of their most iconic eyeshadow palettes into little mini palettes with nine pans so this is like the mini modern renaissance palette so some of the best kind of colors in there from the full size palette but this really nice sleek compact eyeshadow palette and then personally i like this palette better well the full size one i haven't seen the mini one let's pull up this is the sultry one i love these colors so pretty oh my gosh that middle shade i just swatched it here can you see that oh that's the most awkward place Warm. Pom? Pomy? Pom, 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 pom? Hi Shannon, hands up if you have an elaborate skincare routine for your face but often neglect your hands, which tend to be the first body part you notice aging. I feel attacked. No, literally, I was thinking this the other day. I was like, my hands are dry. Recently launched in New Zealand following their success overseas, Pom. Oh, okay, it says it's pronounced palm. 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 That makes so much more sense. Like, palm of your hand. Are redefining hands? <laughs> hand care with luxurious sustainable speci specially formulated skincare for hands 10 products in the range 
They are formulated without parabens and silicones. All of the packaging is either refillable or made with previously recycled plastics. They commit a percentage of every sale towards the removal of plastic waste from waterways and landfills. And they've included a pottery kit. Cool. What should I make? Should I make like a little vase? I don't know. Maybe I'll do it on my vlog channel. So inside we have a hand and nail brush which I needed. Oh my gosh, I was just talking to my nail lady like last time I was getting my nails done saying I needed one of these. Now that I'm gardening a lot, I get like um, stains underneath my nails from the like soil and stuff. And like I washed it, like they're, they're clean, but you just need like that extra little bit of help. So this will be so handy. And then this is the probiotic hand balm their sign signature scent. Let's see. I love the packaging colors, like very cool. Mmm. What is that? Oh my god. It's like, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of, you know, that Fiji. Is the brand called Fiji? There's that brand that's in like spas. And there's like a lime. It's like limey, coconutty. I don't know. It doesn't say what the scent is, but that's what it smells like to me. Like lime and coconut. Like... Holy crap, like sweet coconut. And that feels so good. I'm gonna put this in my laundry so whenever I do my gardening, I can come in, I can wash my nails and I can apply the hand cream or hand balm. Cause yeah, I do use gloves in the garden, but you know, you still get like little bits or like every now and then like you just need to like flick something with your finger and it goes up your nail. But yeah, I try to wear gloves almost every time. Cause I know like touching soil with your like skin can be really bad, but Anyways, this is an exfoliating hand cleanser too. How cool. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. I'm actually really excited about this brand. It sounds really cool and I love their values. And my hands smell incredible. Holy crap. I want to just smother that over my whole body. Can they do like a body version too, please? All right, the last package we will open in this video. Go to part two for the rest. I'll have it up in a couple of days. This one's from Glowlab. <gasps> Cute. Hi Shannon, we're delighted to introduce you to Glow Lab's new baby range. Oh, the little illustration. Honestly, cute. Made in New Zealand with gentle plant-based vegan formulations. There's a baby wash and shampoo, a bedtime bath, a bubble bath, and a baby soothing nappy cream. Oh, look. It's so cute. Hold on, I need to do a little picture for the gram because it's so cute. So first they obviously sent the little custom. I think it's a baby towel. I don't want to unravel it right now. And then also a rubber duck and his favorite animal right now are uh, ducks and penguins. And he has both duck and penguin bath toys and this can be added to his collection. He is going to froth. Like he loves ducks. We feed the ducks all the time. We go to the park. He loves them so much. He always tries to pet them. <laughs> this is really cool too. It's plastic free, all natural and eco-friendly with natural rubber. Now the range. So we have the baby wash and shampoo, which is nourishing, hydrating and gentle. The cutest little illustration. It's the small things, you know. And Glow Lab is so affordable, so that's why I'm excited as well, you know. Bedtime bath, a relaxing blend of lavender and chamomile, soothing nappy cream, all of the illustrations are adorable. And then this one I'm most excited for, of course, the bubble bath. It's got an elephant on. He also does love an elephant. We always buy their, like, body washes, the hand soaps. Like, I just bought one for in the laundry as well, like an antibacterial hand soap. I like their stuff. Made in New Zealand and made without lots of nasties. So cool. I'm actually very excited. I'm going to go to part two, guys. So I will catch up with you in part two in a couple of days. Or if, you know, you're watching this a little bit later, I'll link part two down below for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are feeling entertained and relaxed so far. Although some of you won't be relaxed by the thought of cleaning up this mess afterwards but hey it's fine i'm so lucky so thankful for all of the goodies i get and i'm not going to do a giveaway in this particular video but i do have some giveaways coming over on instagram so stay tuned i'll talk to you guys soon bye bye <laughs>